Welcome to my channel. So the first item of this art haul is the Canson XL Mixed Media Paper. It is a sketchbook of 60 sheets and it's 9 by 12. Um, I usually just take out the pages and put them in my own notebooks. The next paper is the Render No Show Through, which actually you can draw on both sides and it doesn't show through, um, just not with water based media though. That tends to crumble the paper but otherwise it's a really good paper I think um, the next item is my refills for my Copix and if my camera wants to focus you can see I got an E33 an E11 C5 B91 W5 G00 and E57 and the last one is the black 100. Next item is the pouch of color gel pens. Also included was uh, 48 refills. So the set comes in this really nice pouch and there are 24 glitter pens, 12 neon pens and 12 metallic pens. Next up is a 30 set of Stabilo 68 pens, right there, and they have a felt tip um, and also are good with water, so they're well water soluble, but they do um, get lighter in the tone. So this one is my mother water uh, brushes and I got a set of three flat ones and three round ones and I really like them they're really good next up is my winter Newton Cotman um, sketch pocket box set um, I have like a love-hate relationship to these um, because they're really sticky as you can see so this is the booklet with uh, shows all the colors you can get in the Cutman range um, but they do stick either to the top or to I tried to put some paper but it didn't yeah uh, work so this is the brush it comes with it's a little, little travel brush it's really neat I haven't used it yet though because I'm using the water brushes instead that's just easier for me Next up is the Koi watercolor sketch uh, set which comes with 12 colors and a sponge and a water brush which is really compact and the yeah the sponge is really disgusting <laughs> I've been using it so yeah that's why but yeah you just take that black thing off and screw it on and there you have a neat little travel water brush Next up is just some brush cleaner, which I got from Diplick, um, and some palettes, really cheap ones. Then I got the manuscript calligraphy set, um, it's the compendium one, and it comes with a block of paper, which is like really basic, and then it comes with four pens, um, which I have somewhere else, and this book that teaches you how to do calligraphy. Um, which I think is really cool but I'm planning on using them for like drawing instead though so that's the pens and you just weirdly screw these off instead of like pulling them off which I think is weird but whatever and it also comes with refills in the colors of black blue green brown I think and red also yeah so that is this item. Moving on to the next is my Crayola color pencils. I just want, like, I love colored pencils and I wanted to try these out because I've seen a lot of YouTubers use them. I think they have really cool names um, too for all, like, really fun childish names like Fuzzy Wussy or 
this one which is Wrestle Dazzle Rose um, and yeah they're, they're okay they don't perform really well on like tan paper this is my Liquitex inks in the metallic range I have a copper um, a gold and a silver and yeah the lids are really hard to open but they have this dropper effect which I really like about inks um, I kind of only got them because they had the dropper effect I'm sure there are other metallics that are better but that's why I got them so I'm weird this is a pen I discovered actually so you can like the barrel is empty the pink part is from Zig by the way and then you can put like whatever refill you want to inside so I just have this uh, turquoise one inside right now and I also got some other colors um, like a brown a pink sepia and a black which is a brush pen the other ones are just fine tipped and this is my pencil extenders from Derwent in 0.8 and 7, oh, sorry, just 8 and 7, yeah. My 24 colors of uh, Reeves squash, I just wanted to try it out and it was a cheap starter set. The round set of Dr. PH Martins, I think it's the round set 1. So these are the colors included in the set. Um, yeah, not sure why I'm showing all of them, but yeah, I love these inks, they're really cool. Also, like, I accidentally um, had an explosion of the brown one in this box, um, so I had to clean it all up and I tried to put it into the barrel again, which like, worked a bit. <laughs> and you can stand them up, which I think is really neat too. So next up is more inks. So I got some more for Inktober. Some of them are the FW per lesson and some of them are just like regular FW inks which doesn't have the shimmer to it. So these are the different colors I got. Um, I did get two white ones but they have like different colored shimmer to them I guess. Like one of them I'm think is red and the other is like a golden shimmer and then I got a black one which is also shimmery and you have to shake them well before using them um, because yeah it tends to fall to the bottom all of the glitter I also got a pencil sharpener from stables and the Derwent Helico um, manual pencil sharpener which is really neat and it Give some really fine point um, tips on the pencils. Next up is just some refills for my pencil pocket brush and the Speedball sketch set. Um, so it comes with two uh, pen holders and six different nibs, and there three of the nibs fit the smaller um, nib holder, and the other three fit the larger one. So these are the nib sizes and uh, yeah. Next up I have uh, refills for all of the Pilot Color Eno uh, 0.7 mechanical pencils and also the pencils themselves. And they don't erase like super well but I think that's the gist with all of those um, colored pencils. And this is the Winston Newton drawing inks and I love the boxes they are so pretty I think I mainly got them because of like the art on the boxes and on the inks but they're really good too so it's cool so that's the set one I think and next and lastly is the crown jewel of my art haul it is the Prismacolor 150 set and as you can probably see some of them have been used um, I bought it new but I did a commission where I had to use them so some of them are pretty worn out and I'm planning on getting duplicates before I leave um, in January 
just so I have like a complete set before I, I go home because they're really expensive to get um, where I live normally so yeah I am planning on maybe rearranging them because they are not in the original color order but um, yeah I'm just wanna wrap this up and say thank you for watching and I hope you will tune in some next time so thank you bye